Now, Sabika and Pine River Bacchus, they both came into their Section 5A championship matchup with something to prove. Sabika had fallen a game before state each of the past two years, and Pine River Bacchus, well, they had already lost to Sabika in the playoffs. They won three games to make it to today's final. We'll pick things up in the top of the fourth. Pine River Bacchus leading 3-2. to two. Lindsey Tolinchek hits one to center just in front of the diving fielder. Two runs would score easily, but then the throw, it gets away from Jolie Lilquist. Emma Barkas scores to make it 6-2. to two. But here comes Sabika. Two outs, bases loaded. Ava Ratchke, the pitcher, helps herself out, laces one to left, two score. And in the six down one, Ratchke again ripped up the five six hole. That scores two and gives them the lead. Last chance for the Tigers. Ratchke puts the finishing touches on her masterpiece. Sabika is headed to state. The celebration, what a win for them. They take it seven to six. And even though they were down by four, the Trojans knew that it was no time to panic. The way we played the last couple of games, we've come back seventh inning, come back, come back, and uh, <laughs> and so I, I was, I had no doubt in my mind that we were going to come back. It was going to throw strikes, and um, we were going to be fine. It feels pretty good because I didn't make it when my sister was playing, and now I'm happy because she said she'd be mad if we made it, but she's not mad. <laughs> now we're going to start, we celebrate tonight, and I already had to get stuff rolling because tomorrow morning we got seeding right away, so we got to focus in Monday, Monday, Tuesday practice, and we got to be ready to go. And as Coach Meyer said, Sabika, they'll be taking their talents to North Mankato, their first round opponent. Well, that'll be determined tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.